There's so much dental work on the bottom of the factory insert that it's intimidating thinking how will I do all that. But in reality, if you're not putting the blade at the absolute maximum height and if you're not doing 45 degree cuts, there's only three protrusions and they can be taken care of with simple counterbores. So the bottom of my insert ends up being quite simple. A recessed hole for this thing and a couple of recessed holes for those bolts. I'll show you how to make it. The inserts are made of 5 8 inch Baltic birch and I've created a master which shows on the top the locations of the screws that will be the leveling screws, five of them. And on the bottom mark the location of the counter bores that will accommodate the three protrusions. The width of the blanks is to just fit in the slot and slightly longer than the length, so 16 inches. Your saw is probably going to be different, so it's best to make your own template, make the measurements so that you'll get it right. I'll leave the cutting off of the round ends until the last because it's easier to make these measurements and drill the holes when it's a square piece of material. Now I'll use the master template to line up the drill bit and then I can go through the others quite quickly with repeated precision. I didn't drill all the way through because I want to make a clean entry from each side. I'm placing the board against the post so that if the drill grabs, the board won't spin around. The other five holes that are drilled from the top are for one quarter inch set screws. And for that, we'll use a 1364 drill bit and do it the same way, lining up on the master. And then drilling each one. And again, I didn't go all the way through because I'll drill in from this side as well. The holes drilled from the back are recesses that go one quarter inch deep. So I locate the drill on my master, then put one of the blanks in place. I'll soften up the sharp edges with a 1 16th radius round over bit and the same on the edges of the finger hole. The end of the tap has a taper. If I come in from the top and then have it come through the bottom just a little bit, then that makes the threads a bit tapered right at the end and that'll grab the set screw quite well. So these are half inch long set screws with one quarter twenty thread. They happen to be stainless steel which is nice but they don't need to be. And there's the underside. Now we can level it using the set screws. That looks very level. And the last screw we do is the one down here it's just to stop it from flipping up. The next step is to cut the slot by raising up a blade, but when I put on a 10 inch blade, I can't set this in even, so that looks kind of sloppy. With an 8 inch blade, there's no problem. Then I'll start the blade and raise it up, but I need to keep this settled in here, otherwise it would just lift it, and I'll use my sled as a weight. Now with the 10 inch blade back on, and the slot partially cut through, I can drop it all the way down and complete the cutting of the slot. And then this slot needs to be extended to get the riving knife installed. So I've got a 1 8 inch diameter rotor bit. I can run that along to extend the slot. Because it's a fragile bit, I'll take small amounts at a time. And because it's not as deep as the material, I'll work from both sides. Now with the slot cut back, and you can see this insert actually has an advantage over the original that's open all the way back. Here there's solid stuff front and back holding it. If we're ever cutting thin strips, they might catch on the end there. Whereas with the wooden insert, you don't have that gap to catch them. And zero clearance around the blade, 
so that reduces the tear out. And the disadvantage of the shop made insert is that it doesn't lock in the way this one does. This one will not lift out no matter what. I mentioned earlier that the blade cannot be raised to the full height because we haven't made all the cutouts that would be necessary for that. But it does go above 2 and 7 8 inch and that's with a 5 8 inch insert. If I had used half inch plywood then I would get to 3, eight, three inches height. Now this one I couldn't get it level and I figured out it's because this board is not actually flat. So I'm going to just run that over the jointer with a very light skim. I don't have to remove the set screws because they're set well into the wood. Okay, so after adjusting the screws for the amount that I took off, I'm now able to get that perfect in any direction. This insert is going to be for a three quarter inch wide dado. I'm not going to go any higher than that for now because I'm only cutting a shallow dado. If I'm doing a different width of dado, I'll make a different insert. I made a bunch of them so I can afford to do that because it's nice to have the right supported right up to the edge of the saw.